Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! We're not fools. We know all who come from the Upworld are rich. Please. Is five credits too much to ask? Please have pity on us. We have nothing. All we ask is a few credits to make our lives easier. Have you no heart? Have you no compassion? Come, my brother, let us go. We will get nothing from this selfish upworlder. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Shalina. You're from the upworld, aren't you? I've, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... Less dark, somehow. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever. I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. I am Isala, healer of this village. 
I use my knowledge and what little resources we have to care for the outcasts who are sick or injured. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Ask your questions, Upworlder. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you... You... you come from the world above! Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder, I beg you! A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukul Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Once I was honored for my wisdom, but over time the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually there was only a single apprentice who followed me, and now she is gone too. My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. They say anyone bitten by a raccoon will become a raccoon. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. It ain't the best.
Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar! Run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! I... I can't! The Rakuls are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the Rakuls are so near! You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. The rat ghouls were so close. I had to protect the village. But enough of this grim talk. We must focus on the positive if we're to survive down here. How can I help you, Upworlder? <laughs> I just guard the gates. Gendar. Yes, Upworlder? I'm Trellin from the out. Goodbye. No! Hindar, no! Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me, even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there, he, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? It's Zalbar, he's in trouble, big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rat ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z.
It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Yeah? What? Help. Help me. Please. I, I can feel it inside my skin. No! No! I can feel it!
Don't... don't move! I'm... I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Hmm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion... Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The lower city is overrun with gangs. But the two most important ones are the Hidden Bex and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Bex were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them. 
But I know for a fact those damn Vulcans have already sent their own salvage party down here. Come on, boys, let's move out! Yes. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you... It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the Promised Land. Marked upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use, and the poor were left to starve. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper... But the poor rose up against this tyranny. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. What did you expect? 
If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace, a life devoid of all hope but one, the Promised Land. And you will be the one to... Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every knee. For many years I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. I have collected many clues, hinting, but I know my father and grandfather eat. Yes, Upworlder. Well done. However, I see that this... I'm afraid that only with all... I will leave... about the promised man, didn't he? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing. Oh, don't worry, I'll make this quick. I've got an offer that might be worth your while. For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off. But if Rukal ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. The two explorers who went searching for the Promised Land, might they would have recorded that information in their journal. Then, I can destroy the evidence. Don't be a fool! I'm the only one here who can pay you for those journals. Rukil, once you have all three... all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, and it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm, maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big C's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing.
Forever. <laughs> These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. <laughs>
life dead to you? Wow, this is major. Do you realize? A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm the... So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Vulcan base. That was the deal, wasn't it? I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewer. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Rancor monster isn't still there. There used to be a Rancor monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its boss, but luckily, the Rancors aren't too bright. I would think Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere...
Are you ready to have a civil chat, or is this going to be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerf herder. Ugh, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. And I'm I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge lately. Not surprising, considering all we've been through, but I shouldn't take it out on you. Mission. You have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Carl. Well, that's no big deal. I, mean, I know it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen, you... <laughs> Oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Car, for an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing.
be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black bulker who had a little too much to drink in the canteen of my life. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. Ready. What? Thank 
惯。No one's gonna see this mission. What? Huh? Thank <laughs> you. 